If you haven't been to Nanto yet, I suggest that you watch the clips I did on WeView Nanto and Sun Moon Lake before you watch this one, just to orientate yourself a bit. Now, once you get to Sun Moon Lake, if you drive around that lake once, you're gonna quickly realize that the hotels here do not kid around with price. At a half decent hotel, you're looking at anywhere between 8,000 Taiwan dollars to 320,000 Taiwan dollars per night on a weeknight. And yes, I said, 320,000 Taiwan dollars per night. I drove my car down to Sun Moon Lake so I was able to drive right around the lake checking out all kinds of different hotels and although I found one or two around 3,000 NT I just couldn't stomach staying there. The room had bedding that looked and smelled frankly like it was a thousand years old. Just as I was about to give in and pay more than I budgeted for, we found this beautiful little boutique hotel called Spa Hotel right on the water at 4,500 a night. The room had a little balcony, it was nice and clean and the bedding didn't smell a thousand years old. Room 5A and room 5B are on the top floor. This one is room 5A. It's a big room with a really nice big tub and a great view but no balcony. This room goes for between five to seven thousand NT dollars a night, depending on which day of the week you book it. On the third floor, a slightly smaller room with both a shower and a tub, but also no balcony. And this room is slightly cheaper than the rooms on the fifth floor. If you want a nice little balcony, you should go for either rooms 1A or 1B. This was my room, room 1A, slightly bigger than room 1B, with both a shower and a tub overlooking the lake. This room is around 4,500 to 6,000 NT per night for two people sharing. I'm being a bit vague with pricing at the owner's request, so just drop her a mail yourself and she'll give you a formal quote once you've confirmed your dates. It's also worth mentioning that this hotel does have their own spa. I was unable to record it because there were guests using the spa while I was there. All the rooms have Wi-Fi and the prices are inclusive of breakfast, which is served until 9.30 in the morning. The same place where the breakfast is served, they also serve light meals and coffee during the day, which might be convenient if you're looking for something small on the go. This hotel has a great location and a really nice view of the lake and yet a 7-Eleven just diagonally across the road and a Starbucks right next door. In front of the hotel there is a cool footpath that walks around the lake. Great if you want to go for a morning or evening stroll. Check out the clip I recorded while walking around the lake one morning on my blog page. And speaking of exercise, if you do decide to take a room on the top floor here, pack light because this hotel has no elevator.